on Safari. You have to open up on Google Chrome. Oh, well, we're live now. Okay. Hold on, let me pull the chat up. Sorry, we're late, y'all. But was just Chrome. talking. Oh, well, we're live. Now. Uh oh, wait. Let me okay. let me mute because. Hold on, let me pull the chat up. Oh, that's about it. Sorry, we're late, y'all. But was just talking. Darn it. Oh, well, there it is. Okay, Eric, Colleen, Tweedy. Let me go to live chat. Shit. Rogerio. Rogerio's got episode three of Randy and Bea. Well, I, I I haven't got to see it yet. Debbie, Mandy, Owen. I'm still trying to pull it up. Hang on. I was I was like pre prepared this time. Aaron Avery, Hope with Peace, KC, Michelle Noel, Kathy, Joy Ride, Jennifer. Okay. Are you wearing polka dots? I'm not only wearing polka dots, I'm wearing a onesie sleeper. <laughs> yes. Hey, everybody. That is so funny. You know, I tried to wear a onesie. I just get too hot in them. Yeah. I get, I go back and forth. I'll have it off in a little bit. Hey, Michelle, Hi. Donna. And Hi, Jennifer. Eric, hope with peace. A little bit. Amber Yada -yada. Kane. Hope you had a good birthday. When was her birthday? I miss everything, y'all. I'm, I'm sick of missing everything. Well, that's because you don't get on Twitter that much. And I think I'm taking a, I'm going to take a little bit of a Twitter break. It's killing me. But we, where did you get the Walmart, Julie? Hi, Rosewater. Um, I got this at Walmart last year for $5. Hey, Asia Rogerio. I got, I still have not watched the thing, but I'm going to, I have today, half a day tomorrow and half a day Sunday. Those are my days off from either work or mother-in-law duty. So that's when, and I could watch shit when I've got mother-in-law, but she's always in my ear asking 558 questions. So it, it just doesn't do any good. Bless her. I wish I lived closer. I wish you did too. Y'all would have fun together. She's fun when she's funny, but when she's throwing VCR tapes at you, it's not fun anymore. So hey, uh, Monique and Carrie and Robin. If she hit me, I would cry. If she threw something yeah. at me, I would cry. I, I'm a crier when it comes yeah. to that stuff. Well, the new thing now is she goes to the door 455 times a day. Just to, uh, all she does is open it. And hey, see, Diane. now that we've got, uh, hey, Lacey, Diane, uh, now that we've got that ADT system in there, we know every time the door opens and closes. And we're there 20 out of 24 hours. The only time we're being able to leave is if she's taking a nap. We've got somebody that stays overnight. Um, every night except for two nights a week and um so that helps and then uh but she it alerts us every time the door opens so if she hears something outside she runs to the door to see what it is it's crazy if she can show it to a rogerio she'd be like hey where are they um are they coming over i throw a vcr at you too that's abuse alone you have it <laughs> <laughs> but she still has but listen she has dvds and vcr believe me she has it she has it all i've shown i was on um a hangout one time with randy and diane and who was on there wendy maybe and i was at my mother-in-law so i turned the camera on so they could see her wall of fame and it is vhs from all the movies, all the Disney movies, she's got every one of them. At least, at least two copies of each one. There's my Obi. Hey, Suzanne, Suzanne. little North chick. All Maybe right, y'all. I got, I got obsessed with this, and I don't know how obsessed to be. Got I'm right now reading my third book about Sylvia Lockins. I've watched. Did you read any of the books or did you, what, what did you do? Wait, hang on. Before we go to that, has, has anybody watched um, The Innocent Man on Netflix? Have you started watching that? Yeah, I got to rewatch it. Well, we already told you. 
I'm going to, I got to get my candle right quick. I, I'll talk with the table. Monique, yeah, that's fine. You can put it in here. Uh, your, I saw that, uh, your question. She, Randy won't care. Um, for your channel. Uh, <laughs> Randy just says she takes the ball in, y'all. Yeah, Diane didn't say, Diane, you never study. While you're prancer sizing, you should have it on in your ear. You should have been listening. It is sick, Donna. And I had forgot, I had seen that show a long time ago. And as soon as I started watching it, I realized that I had seen it. So, but I rewatched it. I saw it on YouTube. There was, they had like part one, part two, part three. Y'all, have y'all ever that. seen? That is the cutest <laughs> thing ever. I love he's a sweet like, kitten. He is so, I mean, he don't know that he's little either. He has taken over. How does your other cat, does your other cat like him? No, no. Yeah, Chumley came by him yesterday and just slapped the floor at him. Just slapped the floor. Hard. So hello, everybody. I just, I love him. I love him. Can I get that number? Rogeria, I am too. I am too, especially with the Chris Watts case. As soon as something new comes on, I try to watch it. And believe me, well, I can actually me, listen to some crap while I'm at work. I just can't chat. And that's the reason I don't chat anymore with the mother-in-law because I can't, I can't focus on anything because no matter what, she's going to be in my ear asking a question. She don't know any better. You know, she can't help it. And I have to answer her or she'll keep asking it. Riza, his name is Guy. Timber named him Guy. I wanted to call him Langley. But... <laughs> Um, the Chris Watts case, and and I was thinking about having a stream, but be uh, be Diane's gonna have a stream about that that Sh Shanann getting mocked and stuff. So I think that's gonna be a good stream. Um, that will be a good stream. I uh, oh, yeah, but ha, ha, ha. it's better than my cat's name. My cat's name is Baby Kitty and Mama Kitty. I mean, can it get any more original than that? Well, after I, I watched the Bird Box, I wanted to name him Boy. I love that movie. If nobody has seen the Bird Box, you have missed out. Happy New Year to you, Suzanne. Thank you. Hey, Pixie Dust. Hey, Lady Raven. Really, Lori? I had a really drunk ex named Guy. <laughs> Excuse me. What do you have on, Randy? I have on. Put <laughs> <laughs> on my pajamas. Zigzag. You know she's special. Hell. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. One of my good friends is Cat. His name's Cat. Cat. Come on, Cat. Well, I, my pig, I used to have a pot belly pig, and his name was Pig. And Jim is right here. I'm sure y'all will hear him sooner than later because his feeding time is now 10 and 10. But about two hours before, he starts screaming for food. Hey, Bam. Hey, Bam. Been I'll call you when I get off of here. Fur, fur collar polka dot. And y'all, of course, it's not real fur because I do not believe in the killing of animals just for their fur. But I will eat them if. You know, if you want to wear it after you eat it, okay. But anyway, okay, so did did you talk about the Sylvia Lockins case at all? Have no, we got no, into it yet? no. Uh, I just said that I had, once I started watching it, I remembered that I had actually seen it way back, but I still watched it again. It was really good. Well, see, I hadn't, I, I, I remembered the part when, um, the carving on her belly. I remembered that from somewhere, but I I don't, I started, it, this is how I started getting into it. I, I was just flipped on Amazon Prime and it popped up in my, a movie popped up in my recommendations and I watched it. And then after it started giving all the details, I'm like, this was true. 
So then I started Googling the books. Todd knew every book that had been written about it. And um, so I read, uh, can, we can we have a summary? Yes, I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, do a summary for people that didn't get to see it. Um, People want me to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> they're big if y'all haven't realized yet randy's a nerd i'm a nerd there it's all one piece flap in the back okay i can't i can't I can't yes yeah, okay. american, murder. american murder is the name of it yeah. Now, if you watch the movie um, The Girl Next Door, it's very loosely based. And it's, I did, yeah, but Timothy, thank you, by the way. Thank you. Um, it's 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 not, I mean, it's not even close. I don't know how they could even call that a true story because it, it wasn't even close to really what happened. Thank you, Rissa. Oh, they didn't have them this year. Well, yeah, they did, but in a different color. Anyway, okay, so here is the summary of what happened. It was uh, Sylvia and her sister, Jenny. Her parents were carnival workers. They come across this woman. Uh, they actually live down the street from her. Um, and sh they, she said, I'll keep your daughters and treat them like my own for $20 a week. And she was really abusive to the, both girls, but Sylvia was treated like, love you, Kit Kat, she was treated, I, I, she was tortured. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Baby, are you here? I'm here. Okay. Oh, you're typing in the chat, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said uh, somebody. I think uh, Zigzag said Yava yeah, wants some pajamas like yours, and she said we can match. And I said twin goals. <laughs> Hashtag matchers. Hashtag geeky. I think next year on New Year's Eve, we some of us need a plan, a get together, and have like a slumber party. Hashtag weirdo. Hi, <laughs> you. You do not. Don't even lie to these people like that. I love you. <laughs> I tell that to B-Dub all the time. I say, I hate you to your core. He said, why do you lie to yourself like that? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that would be, no, hashtag, hey, I think that Michael Jackson picture says it all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny doing that to you. I love me from Michael Jackson. I had a slumber party with my kids this year. <laughs> I'm about to put this kitten out. You're gonna have to get out. So I just wonder what did y'all and y'all know. Okay, so where do we start with this? Gertrude Benzes, how do you say Benzeski? Oh Benzeski? gosh, I can't even begin to try to pronounce that name. Hi, Dale. There is a Sylvia Locken homepage. Only if hot girls will. Be. I'm gonna be there, Rebecca. <laughs> no, please put that damn thing down. Of all things, Rebecca Moore gets a damn taser for Christmas. I said, who in the <laughs> right hand gave you? I said, the only bonus is it's pink. Hey unicorns! Hey unicorns! Be careful. Jim got me a taser one time. I only got to use it once, and he took it away from me. <laughs> <laughs> my dumbass. She said she thought it was a flashlight at first. I said, I said, see, my dumbass would push the button and I'd be aiming it down. I'd probably zap my own damn self. <laughs> I'd be right. Why did you get me? Hey, Sandy Law. Uh, uh, why, why would you get me? A oh. <laughs> hey, Helen. <laughs> hey, Helen. Hey, Sandy. Oh, that's so funny. I would, though. Stephanie begged me, begged me to tase her, and I wouldn't. I should have. <laughs> <laughs> I should have. I should have. Now, there's some people I'd love to tase. <laughs> me too. I just like to go around, zap, zap. 
<laughs> just being me. I'm going to be a quiet listener because my hands aren't working well. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is safe, safe. Karen. All right. So we all right. The the crazy thing is, is this if this happened now? Well, okay, let's go back to the um the guy that had the, the three Cleveland, the girls in Cleveland. He got life plus a, what a thousand years or something. Yeah, and those kids got no time hardly. For, for what they done. I mean, not Sylvia, but Gertrude. Wasn't it just 20 years or something and she was out after eight or something insane like that? Yep. Yeah, yep. I just thought, wow. And, and so I think the kids that also tortured her should have been held accountable, but nobody was held accountable except for the mom. No, no, no. Um, her son that, um, I forgot his name. I had to look it up. He is the youngest, uh, he, at that time, I don't know if there's been anybody since, that's been in, he was in prison. Oh, see, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. the, the daughter that she was so, that was jealous of Sylvia, um, she went to prison. Coy Hubbard, which was the, one of the daughter's boyfriends, he went to prison. Hey, but, Willow. Happy New Year. Like, hey, Willow. They only done like three years. Yeah. Kathy said so it was Joey. That is so, I see, I, I, I missed that part. Yeah. Um, now, here's my question. We all she, know that. He didn't lot. sell kids, Jennifer. They, <laughs> her and her husband were going to work for a carnival. And they left them with a lady they had just met and was going to pay this lady $20 a week, wasn't it, for them to stay there. That's yes. how they became, um, you know, they uh, became to live with her. And she started saying that the money was late when it wasn't. And that's when the abuse began because she started taking it out on the girls, both girls. Initially, she would take them down to the basement and beat them with a bell. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it was her oldest daughter that was lying on Sylvia. And that's when Sylvia was singled out. Isn't that right? Yeah. Isn't that how it was sort of horrible? Yeah, but I think there was something. All right. Because if y'all, because of the books. Hi, Mary. Epic change. Um, how many were involved in torturing that girl? Look, nobody, nobody will ever know because nobody knows exactly who all was involved. All the neighborhood kids was involved. Yeah. Yeah. The neighbor boy, Richard Hobbs, he was having an affair with Gertrude. And I don't know if y'all saw, saw Gertrude, but yeah. And he was 14? Yeah, 14 or 15. And um, he went to prison. Wow. Um, yeah, Jennifer, she was. It. Uh, I blonde. But I think Gertrude married a, a series of well, she married, I think she was married three times, one, two to the same guy. And then she had seven kids. The last one was by some young guy that wouldn't marry her, but she would take his last name and pretend they were married. So I yeah, think, she, she is. yeah, I think that she saw something in Sylvia that she was jealous of, that she wanted to be like, or that she, that's what I think. Because she kept calling her a whore and a slut and a whore and a slut. But y'all know that she, she was a virgin. She died a virgin. Sylvia did? Mm-hmm. Yep. Which they were amazed after all the, um, you, know, you know, the Coke bottle stuff or Pepsi bottle stuff, which I can't talk about. We're going to skim through that part. Um. That didn't break her hymen. Wow. So. It. Um, I, no, think what, I haven't heard of that one. What? Uh, Sean Gray in Ohio who kidnapped and killed people. I haven't heard of that one. Corner report confirms she was a part. Yep. 
Yeah, she had 150 cigarette burns on her body. I cannot imagine. I mean, I cannot imagine. On her stomach, you know, it said, I'm a prostitute and proud. Yeah. And y'all know that big three that was at the top? You need, it's a, it's a show, it's a true story. And it her if you put in Sylvia Likens, L I K E N S in the search bar on YouTube, it'll bring up the shows and it, it's called An American Crime. And it um it tells about what happened to her. It's horrible. And it was in the sixties, right? When it happened? In the fifties. In the fifties. Yeah. And here's the thing, uh, too. Um, it was in the fifties. She in the movie they don't show this. Her parents, their parents did come to visit them, and they didn't tell their parents. Oh wow! But how could their parents look at them and not tell they were being starved because they were both being starved, and especially Sylvia? They do. You, they were down to one spoon. And the and they she didn't have a stove or yeah she didn't have a stove all they had was a hot plate and so they ate a lot of soup so they had to pat share the spoon kind of like at my house but you know I bring Wendy's utensils home but um they they shared a spoon so the parents I just I think that her parents were shit I I I. I, I think that because even after um, they went to prison, Jenny, the daughter, the, the younger sister with that had polio went to live with the lawyer. Really? Yeah. See, none of that was in the movie. Was that, um, was that in the book? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there was a lot in the book that wasn't in the movie, but I mean, the movie nailed quite a bit of it, of a lot of the torture and stuff like that. But yeah. um, they they didn't. Now, at the end of that movie, it does tell you know that Jenny went to live with the DA. Wow. So I mean, the parents just they. Uh, but oh yeah, you know there was more. There was a sister Diane or Diana that first um they wrote to her the girls did and said we're being mistreated can we come stay with you she said no she was married she's 18. Uh, but then, yep but then she decided to come see her sisters and gertrude wouldn't let them in wouldn't let her in she said i have permission to turn you away and she didn't beat that door in and go in and get them girls Oh my God. Yeah, it just gets worse. The three that was carved on her stomach, what was that? The youngest child done that. And what they were trying to do was put an S on her. And the child was so young that she'd done a backwards S and it looked like a three. And seeing they went to school <laughs> until. You know, they put Sylvie in the basement and wouldn't allow her to go to school. They said she was in juvie. Um, I would have thought that um, they would have said something there. But I guess they were scared. Both girls were scared to say anything. Yeah. And of course, that was a different time back then, obviously. But Liberty, it's called uh, An American Crime. Book uh, I just called House of Eight. Oh, is that the name of it? House of Evil is what I'm reading now. The first book was. I gotta look that up because I want to get that. I, hang on, if it's do a screenshot of the House of Evil, I'm gonna look that up on Amazon. Go ahead, continue on. I'm sorry. Okay, and I can, if you want, I can send you the audio book for free. I think. I yeah. Get... Do what? You know. What have I done? I can't get to my books. 
if, if you go, oh, go there it is. the history right, you're breaking up you're breaking up all right i i've read uh, oh okay one of the books is torture mom and if you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free on Kindle right now. Um, Torture Mom, House of Evil, and there's one called The Basement. The Basement is kind of based on the trial, it seems like. It was awful. Robot B. Are you, are you here, B? It's raining. Yes. It's an American crime. Yeah, yes. In here, which doesn't sucks ass. Um, yeah. Come on now. Come on. Put it up. Jim talking to He was want now. Now he now he don't. She she froze. Can y'all hear me? I can now. Say something okay. else. Who knows? There you now, go. Is it better now? Yeah. Who knows? Ellen Pike. Yeah, they done good. That um, that movie was they they nailed that torture mom. I think that's what they based their movie on. But the girl next door, it, it's nothing like. I wish it was like that in a way. I mean, they done a lot of bad stuff, but. The boy next door kind of was trying to save her. Am I froze? No, you're good. Oh. So Am I still breaking up, Debbie? No, you didn't that time. Come on, boys. It has been raining here for like four days. I'm so sick of it. Yeah, I'm sick of it here too. I'm going to have to come back and watch this later. It's too hard for me to just listen and not comment. Oh, I'm sorry, Carol. I'm okay. <laughs> but, okay. I highlighted uh, the note that she, that Gertrude got Sylvia to write a note. And this was the night before she died. Bay, are you talking? No, I'm right here. Okay. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. If you highlight something, don't it stay highlighted? Because this was crazy. Happy Jenny. Hey, Jenny Hansen. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry, the cats drive the dogs crazy. Gertrude had her write this note, and and I know that I'm. He is good, Jenny. I just um, I showed Randy him before I came live. He's right here asleep. He is um, a big boy. 
as usual. I highlighted. I was ready. There it is. Okay. This is what she had. Hey, Penny Pincher. This is what she had her right. This was the night before she died. To Mr. and Mrs. Lockins. I went with a gang of boys in the middle of the night, and they said they would pay me if I would give them something. So I got in the car, and they all got what they wanted. And when they got finished, they beat me up and left sores on my face and all over my body. They also put on my stomach, I am a prostitute and proud of it. I have done just about everything that I could do just to make Gertie mad and cause Gertie more money, cost, oh, it was supposed to say, she wrote cause, it's cost, cost Gertie more money than she's got. I've tore up a new mattress and peed on it. I have also cost Gertie doctor bills that she really can't pay and made Gertie a nervous wreck and all her kids. That was the note that she got her to write. Wow. And not dear mom and dad, Mr. and Miss Lockins. Like, Gertie, was, she really thought she was going to get away with this. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. That is so sad. It is. It's awful. And I just, I can't believe the time they didn't get, but I'll say, all right, the, the neighbor boy, you know, he died at 21 with lung cancer. Really? Yep. And when Gertie got out of prison, hey, hippie pace, she hey, lived hippie. five years. She died with lung cancer. The oldest daughter, Paula, she got caught working in a school. Wow. And got fired. Yeah. Y'all get out of here. Go on. They just keep opening this door. Ricky Hobbs, yeah. Nice to see you back and well. Thank you, aunties. It's good to be back. We are going to start doing a news show, a fun news type show on Sundays, y'all. Regina, Donna. The Jonas. The Jonas coming back, making a comeback in 2019. That's right. All murder and Maybe. fun. Here. <laughs> Gotta oh. do something to liven it up, make it fun again. Yeah. Something's got to get. So now I'm reading about the Columbine murders or school shootings. So there's another rabbit hole. Have you seen the, uh, which one of the Columbine murders? It's one of them's mom uh, does, she goes around and does public speaking. Mm -hmm. um, oh my gosh, I listen to my heart. Because, you know, she goes, Oh, so much, and, and you know what kind of honor do you question? And um, she had no idea what was up. Uh, just yeah. So, um, so yeah, I think that my son was a Columbine shooter. I think is the name of it. I saw. I, I've watched one of them. She and I mean they seem like a normal family. And the name of the book is just Columbine. I think it's fairly new.
I got it this morning and listened to it. Um, some of them I'm reading, some of them I'm listening to. I'm just, I'm. Hmm. I wish I could uh, listen to audio book. Mm. I've tried one time. I've, I haven't tried in a long time, but I, um, I get off in my head, and then I, I don't hear what they're saying. You know what I mean? What, and then I lose whatever's going on. I, yeah. I, I, I need to try it again to see. Right, Donna. I would like to discuss Andrea Yates at some points. Oh, yeah. Diane sent, she would, I would, okay, Diane, I think that'd be a good stream too, because I have strong opinions about everything, but I have a, I have an opinion about Andrea Yates, and um, that can be our next week's stream if you want to. Yeah, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a lady here in Memphis. I'll have to look it up to find the name, but it's been uh, maybe four years ago that she um, drowned her kids too. There was, I think, four or either five total. And the oldest was able to get away. They lived in an apartment out in Cordova, Tennessee, which is like a suburb of Memphis. And um, went to the another apartment and was able to get help. I mean, it was a, I can't think of the name of the lady, but kind of the same thing happen Marcus, here Casey. marcus wesson look that up um well the, i think the only reason i can do audio books i can't if i'm just doing nothing but if i'm the first three hours at work you know what i'm doing and then if i'm crocheting or something i can listen to one because jim he watches the dumbest stuff Ex marcus wesson was it yeah I'll try to. Oh, it's free on Kindle Unlimited. I don't know how much longer. I only have one month of Kindle Unlimited. Blue Ridge says she's listening and napping, Randy. Low holds her to sleep with the mic check, please. <laughs> mic check. Mic check. <laughs> 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 it's always so funny. It never gets old. So now that we've pretty much discussed Sylvia, because I mean, it, well, there's nothing. Hey, Ricky Rooney, there's nothing much more to say. It was just wrong, dirty, and I think everybody failed her. Everybody, everybody failed that girl. And there should have been uh, hey, Penny. much more, which shows how the justice system has changed and moved forward and gotten stronger but you know it's just it's sad it is really sad so now we can just catch up on lives and do a little chit chat before we go bay's loving her job we can't that's all we can say about it yeah i love my job i love them i love them i love them uh, but it's second shift so it kind of it does interfere with a lot but it worked out perfect for me. So, <laughs> is it free on Amazon Prime? <laughs> the is. Kathy, the movie is. These laugh at top speed is the funniest thing. That's scary. There's no telling what I sound like. Probably a cat in heat. No, no. <laughs> Only stop. <sighs> Chum is hissing at the kitty. Golly, it's on the zoo right now. <laughs> Jeannie, you're sweet. Like here. Do y'all know that it took, you know, we brought the cats home from the shop, Mama Kitty and Baby Kitty. And I first put them in my oldest daughter's old room so they would know where their litter box is and their food and water and all that stuff. It took them two months, two months to come out of that room. And now, of course, they're everywhere, but I had to move everything to another room so that they wouldn't have to run back into that room to use their litter box. But um, two months, it started kind of worrying me that they weren't coming out because I, I would have, we would both go in there every day to pet on them and love on them. And, but I wanted them in here with me. And that finally, two months, now they're everywhere. 
a little bit. Um, we're going to do the uh, Andrea Yates. I keep shutting this door and the dogs keep opening it. Come on. Go on. Okay. You need to have patience with cats. They definitely are so different than my hey, dogs. I'm my dog and Gemma, hey Emma, have to be right up under me. Like Gemma is right at my feet. My dogs are twos on one side and one's on the other side of me. They are always right here. And um and the cats, they gotta decide if they want to come. But my husband is mama kitty's human when he sits down she always comes in here and has to be in his lap always baby kitty's got too much feral in him but they still come around see i'm trying to not talk about go lightly because i know that's diane diane wants to do that stream who molly go lightly did you watch any of her she covered the chris watts thing really no no well, here's here's the thing. Here's okay. I would have go. I went over and listened to her. And I know some people still like her. Um, but I, I don't. And when I went over there, I thought, golly, she looks familiar. I thought maybe at one time I was subscribed to her or something. I I don't I don't know. Well, what it was? What's your name? Go Molly Golightly. Molly Golightly. I'm gonna look her up. He is an absolute fraud. And oh, wow. Diane's got, yes. And Diane, like I said, Diane's going to do the stream. But here is. Uh, oh, yeah. she's live right now. She has 20,000 subscribers. Yep. She, because of the Chris Watts case, she went from, what was oh. it? Yeah. She, she got a bunch. And she gets yeah, a lot. Yeah, her channel is only. A month old? Uh, no, a year old. November thirtieth, two thousand seventeen. She she done this from the Chris Watts case, and you know Diane, like I said, she's going to the strength. But um, I texted yeah, but I'm like, did, did you see this? And she's like, you know, she was on Wife Swap. Let me tell you something. When I put that on that Wife Swap on, it's on. Somebody can link it. Uh, that wife swap in here if they haven't seen it. You will remember I used to watch, I never missed wife swap. And it's one of those ones that you remember. It's kind of, you know, kind of like you will always remember that woman that's the God warrior. But um, she was Big Juicy on wife swap. I'm Big Juicy. They call me Big Juicy. I'm going to puke. You're kidding me. <laughs> I kidding you. <laughs> you don't look like my big juicy. I mean, she's pretty. And apparently they got money and they sent her to. Yes, that is her. That's her. Big juicy. That's big juicy. And they send her to a farm where these people. I don't want to know big juicy. <laughs> Damn it. I want to know big juicy. Now I'm fixing to look that up. Damn, y'all. Somebody watch Where on my life, the first, the second thing, when I looked her up, it says that she's live. Underneath that, it says reading hate comments from my Molly Go Lightly under some makeup monster account. The second thing, wife swap, big juicy and princess. I am about to vomit. Yep, there you go. There you go. I, I, well, I was like, I remember this. And Jim's like, turn it off this shit. And I said, no, I want to say this again. Because I forgot how obnoxious. Yeah, she went to a farm. Um, don't give away too much. Makeup. Yes, I love makeup mobster. Love her. Oh, now this is another damn rabbit hole for me to got, fall into, I see. Yes, yes. but And, and I was going to cover this, but Diane, I didn't vocalize it, and Diane vocalized it first. Because I was going to make a video about about old Molly, because so why is she uh, a fraud or whatever? Because she used. Unitonica said, "Big freaking juicy." I 
I just figured out who she was. I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And what is this? Hang on, hang on one second. Hey, Lip Gloss Kitten. What does this say? Hang on. I'm going to go back to her channel real quick. I always go to the about section, but it says gift certificates, one hour session. So, is she a prostitute? What is she selling? For one hour session. Stop it. She's a life coach, don't you know? No, it does not say life coach. Oh, it does up here at the top. Mother, wife, friend, traveler, life coach, and victim's advocate. But all it says is gift certificate, one hour session, $75. For fuck, I'm, I'm fixing to be a life coach, damn it. My one hour session will only be $65. That is y'all's deal. Do y'all hear me? I will life coach y'all. Listen, I'll coach you for $15 an hour. <laughs> <laughs> cheap bitch. <laughs> I'm cheap. And you can pay me in food stamps because I love to eat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I am dead over that. That's all that it says. Diane said it's a hundred an hour since YouTube. I mean, she blew up, but she used, and Diane's going to cover this. She she absolutely used Shanann and their baby's murder for money. And she, I'm sure that Diane will cover this. She vocalized the fact that she used it. I mean, that she made her money. So that's all I'm going to say. Kim Beerley, you are lying through your teeth right now. She'll send you an autographed pick for $9 in her PayPal. I forgot this, y'all. Diane called Holly. She calls her Holly Go Lightly. Um, to ask her how much she would charge her to fix her life. And it was $100 an hour. Of course, Diane did. What am I thinking? I love Diane. Of course. I love Diane. <laughs> God, help me, um, Help me. I dare somebody to go in there right now and say, Big Juicy, I need your help. That is worth a hundred dollars to get on a Google Hangout, record that shit, and see what she says. <laughs> I am nine dollars for an autograph picture. Right. I'll autograph one for five. I'll give you. I'll, I'll send Jimmy Baines. Get him to Paul print it. Hey, I would like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, Terry Lynn. Damn. I'll text you a pic. <laughs> I'll text you a pic, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do it, do it Uni. Do it. Yeah, <laughs> 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 big juicy. No, but don't get bought. What, 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 what is Oh, oh, breakfast at Tiffany's. That is so funny. Now I'm going to be obsessed. Randy and B can come up on panel with me. Oh, it's on. All right. <laughs> okay. Because I'm going to imitate her too. I'm going to imitate her too. I'm going to have to find something to push these boobs up and, and I'll, I'll lower my polka dot some. <laughs> uh, I can't even. Try big juicy fix my life. I need your help, Big Juicy. <laughs> I love it when you call me Big Juicy. <laughs> we'll dress up like vagina and Regina. <laughs> yeah. I need you to fix my makeup tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does look like, and I mean, I know that money's not everything, but she does I think she's got a nice, easy life. I mean, she don't have to work. She's got a lot of stuff. Yes, do that. <laughs> yeah. Plastic surgery. I nothing wrong with plastic surgery. I Blue Ridge went in and said, I, see, I said, Big Juicy, I need your help, please. She said, what do you need my help with? <laughs> she, likes, she still likes being called Big Juicy. Wow. <laughs> 
I am dying. He's in there now, Rain. Is he? <laughs> Did Jerry go in there? Yes. <laughs> crazy ass. I swear to God, he's crazy as hell. <laughs> I love him. She makes a shitload of money on Super Chats, too. Wow. Yes. Why are so many people backing her? And what did you say? What did she, uh, somebody said in the chat that she made fun of Shanann? Is that what she do to her? Yes. We'll, we'll cover that on Diane's stream. Oh, okay. 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 I'm sorry. I'm getting ahead yes. of myself. This is what got me to, um, it's Ask Golightly. Skip ad. Yeah, if you put in Molly Golightly, her channel was the first thing that popped up. Um, for me, and I wouldn't subscribe to her. I'd never heard of her. I am now. I wasn't. I, I, okay, I'll subscribe. i just been typing her name in. But I mean, what's one more when you got 20,000? Right. Yes, big juicy, big juicy. Hey, Mills. And it looks like, hey, Mills. Hey, Blue. Um, she looks like she's very pretty, though. Very pretty to me. There is Rogerio, big juicy. Fix my life, please. <laughs> <laughs> he is so funny. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. That's sweet. <laughs> she's gonna drop her PayPal on you, Rogerio. <laughs> Put a dollar in that PayPal. I cannot wait to watch Wife Stop. You know that that's what I'm watching next. As soon as we get off. Oh, the I cannot wait. I told. Yeah, but I said, quit texting me. I'm watching Wife Swap. That is so funny to me. And then two days ago, the one. Okay, after Wife Swap. That, that makeup mobster said. Five days ago, Molly Go Lightly says she wants to fight me. Then right under that, from two days ago, some chick says in defense of Molly Go Lightly. People uh, fool me. I don't know, Diane, because I think I think that she'll be a striker. I think she I think I think that we'll have to tread a little bit lightly because pardon the pun, because I think she'll be a striker. Damn it, Tuesdays I work. Oh, yeah, that I only work Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. But if, if I can, I can. Oh, I, he's, begging. Can. he's begging now. There's sunshine. Let's see. Where's Rogerio? She, I told y'all she dropped her PayPal. Please, please, I need your help, Big Juicy. PayPal dropped. <laughs> Who needs my help? Drop my PayPal. Well, she can't strike me if I don't use her day name. You're right. I know, right, Carrie? So I know. Big Juicy, are you ignoring me? He said, I love him. <laughs> well, Noel, you got you a winner. I know you already know that. So she had a nanny named Princess. Is that what y'all saying? Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and I love Princess. It was a is it, a a man, and um, but she would leave her kid and go out. You'll see it go out every night and party while her husband stayed at home. How older what was her kids then? She only had one, and he was really young then. Oh wow. Big juicy, my life needs a fixing. <laughs> <laughs> my life needs a fixing. Carrie, I love you. <laughs> oh, my goodness, babe, you have. 20,339 subs now. And I I really think, yeah, her husband is an international banker. So he was gone a lot. 
but she don't need the money. You know who needs the money? Randy Golightly. <laughs> Where is she from? Oh, Robin, yeah, absolutely. What was the question, Robin? I'm sorry. Can I please ask it for Oh, yes. I don't know what's going on, but absolutely. I was before Watts. Mm -mm. No, she didn't have anybody watching her before Watts. There's 447 in her stream right now. Yeah. She pulls numbers. Hashtag Randy Golotly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's from New Jersey. I thought she had it. She has that accent. She I was has, thinking that her boss or something. Oh, she has been taken to the hospital on my way. She has dementia. Oh, we'll, we'll be praying, Robin. I'm so sorry. Oh, honey, I, I hate, hate dementia. That's what my mother-in-law has. And uh, so far, we're lucky, blessed, however you want to look at it. But uh, there's Ima. I know how hard it is. I know how hard it is. Ima goes in there and says, how much do you charge? Rogerio. Oh, come on, Big Juicy. I need my life back. I'm addicted to Wop Swap. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get kicked out. I mean, she, she's got a beautiful she home. Brought up. She, uh, well, that was part of her past. She didn't want that brought up. Somebody, Nettie Red, just came in there and said, where is Princess? Where is Princess? I'm, I'm a, a, do you, do take, you take credit? <laughs> this is great. That's she never so reads the title. She fired him. She fired. Him. Oh, really? Because they made such a big deal about him being part of the family. Why does she not read the chat? I don't know. She's talking about. She's now. I don't know what she's on. Hey, silence is golden. Check your DMs. Okay. Hold on. Let me mute a second. What's her real name? People keep saying uh, Marissa. Okay, Eric. Yeah, okay, I was muted. Marissa is her real name, and we're not doxing her because she was on Wife Swap and it told her whole name. We're talking about Molly Golightly. Marissa, that's a beautiful name too, Marissa. I just hate that she's so so ugly of a person. That's awful. Liberty. To make fun of anybody that I'll was pregnant it. with her babies. I can't imagine I'll I'm going to send you the clip and you're going to, you're probably going to call out of work Tuesday. Morty. Tyler. Okay. Next Tuesday. So is that this coming Tuesday or next Tuesday? She is legally changing her last name to go lightly. That is so weird. Good, Kathy. Be careful. It's raining. 
Hi, Captain. <laughs> right, you can't. You know, well, we'll get into that on the other side. That's screen. right, Eric. This coming Tuesday. Okay. Um. <laughs> hmm. She's something else. She's a hoot. I apologized about making fun of Shanann, but it was too late. Right. Why do you say what it? You're gonna... fun of? What exactly was she making fun of, though? I mean. Diane, do you, do you care? She. Oh, oh, I, I forgot. I can't ask. I forgot. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pambu. Pambu. Pam Pambu. Is she still married? Golotly, is she still married? Why would she change her last name to Golotly? I'm going to change my last name to Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Jimmy? <laughs> no, girl. Hi, Tw hey, Hi. Twitter. How are you? I had a, I I had a, a, really, a really good one. Makeup mobster, she erased some of her. Let's wait. B, she has to work. Maybe we'll give I up on her. Friday and Saturday. Only way is if um, well, I'll I'll tell you in DMs. Into shopping at Tiffany's. Wow. Yeah, she shops at Tiffany's. Yeah. Wow. Oh, guy in the other room said it's her husband. She's going to make her husband change his name to Mr. Golotly. She's, <laughs> she's going to get a lot of hate. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. It is crazy. It's, she's, I, I don't know. But she loves attention. And I think anybody on YouTube has to, maybe, Likes a little attention or is lonely. We're missing something or we wouldn't be on here. But I don't like attention like that. Like I would never go on wife swap. I would never go on wife swap unless somebody was going to come here and clean like that. <laughs> but I wouldn't want that all over TV. She works at, she shops at Tiffany's for dog collars. What? Oh my. That's sorry. My booze get uh, Walmart specials. Sometimes if I'm feeling, you know, got extra money, I'll go to Tractor Supply, okay? <laughs> I was going to say, if, if I'm, if I'm I got a good check, I might go to the co-op. And they really. I mean, all it carries is they're freaking, I don't put them on a leash because they just use the backyard. And then when we go for a car ride, they jump straight in my car. It has their rabies tag on it. That's it. And half the time I forgot to put it back on them when they after I give them a bath. So there's that. Jenny said I can afford a lot, but even I don't go to Tiffany's to shop. Well, I mean, I think I think there's nothing wrong with it. If, but I mean, if you to each of their own. <laughs> Pam says I got a Dollar General, and the cashier's name is Tiffany. <laughs> That's as close as he gets. I'm different. <laughs> Sounds perfect to me. I'm on a one name basis at the people at Dollar Tree. <laughs> I used to have a fake Tiffany uh, bracelet that I ordered from China. <laughs> I, I just cannot get over the craziness seriously if you just sit back and look at the craziness on youtube it amazes me yes people are crazy me too obi my dog is very spoiled he gets weekly petty but the things i have from tiffany's are just two things i don't have anything to do this i love tiffany's but it is not my go-to for shopping speaking of oh i have to show this um now they have all seasons of shark tank on a uh, Hulu. So we've been watching Shark Tank. This guy had this flower idea the other day. They all shot him down. But this rose that Diane sent me, how many months ago has it been? It's still alive, y'all. Isn't that crazy? 
and still smells. How do they do this? And we need to invest. We need to figure out. No, we don't need to invest. We need to steal this idea and and make something like this. We could be millionaires. I'm telling you, if I had a dollar for every time I said I was going to invent something when I was working in ICU, something that made my job easier, and then it for it just to come out in the next year or two, shit, I'd have plenty of money to retire. Because I tell you, it's crazy. Listen, I'm people just jump on it. I've, I've never, you can't steal their idea, I, but you can chain tweak it a little bit. This happened to Jim. I can't tell the story, but if you tweak something it and they patent it, um, where was I? Oh, I looked up, I haven't bought them yet, but do y'all know you can get fake Yeezys. I'm going to get me some fake Yeezys to keep up with B. She's got real ones. <laughs> They are some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever put on my feet. I will say that. You you need send me your address, and I'll have Diane pay for it. No, I'm I'm kidding. Send me your address. Um, I I don't have ideas to make stuff. I I can't invent anything. I don't have. Like what? It's crazy the things that I would think of in my head, and then it would be two years later they'd be on the cart, you know, to be using. It's insane. Ye um, B has two pairs of Yeezys, and I was watching um, Sniper Wolf. And she took her real Yeezys and her fake Yeezys. And you could tell the difference, but they're, I mean, they're, they wasn't as comfortable. But they looked a lot, lot, but she didn't give the website where she got her fake ones from. I've often wondered, I've heard, um, I'm sure probably from China or something like that. But, um, and I, I wouldn't know how to tell the difference other than the price tag, obviously. Well, since you got real but, ones, you could hold it up and tell because the yeah. something on the foot, the bottom of it, and oh yeah, and you can, and even like the box that they come in is specific for them. But they're comfortable. They're they're really comfortable. Yeah, I want to say what I'm wearing now. I'm gonna show you. I got these for two dollars and something at Walmart because they're seventy five percent off. They're cute. That I don't mind wearing Christmas house shoes after Christmas. Miss you too, Morty. Jenny, you got Dobermans. That's right, you do. You you do. You sent me the pictures. I want one so bad. I can't get another dog though until we move. Mm -hmm. I forgot. I've already lost my house. What am I thinking? Yeah, where are you living at now? In a tent on the side of the road. That's right. That's right. I've lost everything, y'all. My gambling addiction has taken a toll. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. Walmart. <laughs> I live in the tent section at the Walmart. It's open 20 times a day. <laughs> the tent section. If you watch Live PD, there is apparently some Walmarts that you can park RVs in and live. I don't, well, I don't know if you can live there, but you can spend a night. We will be um, in a camper soon enough, and I'm not looking forward to so it. The seniors, the seniors, that's right. Don't tell the B-Dub because you know, he don't know anything that I do because I keep all kinds of secrets from him. Yes, live PD is addictive. <laughs> Stay out of them casinos. <laughs> so what, oh, you've lost your house. You... You you, this, you have this whole gambling addiction going on. What what? No, Michelle, I've got to go watch it. Um, All right, Donna. And I stir the pot. I'm behind the scenes of everything. That was the other thing that was said. And never. That, that, <laughs> they only knew. And if they only knew how long it takes for me yes. to get a DM, I mean, it will be. I got Jennifer's today. Only because I didn't have work or mother-in-law duty today, 
But normally, I mean, people will tell you it will be two, three days sometimes. We are loaded with issues, drugs, gambling. Um, we got so many issues and ain't even funny. We got more issues than Playboy. Oh, he drew Gemma Bean. Gemma. I don't want to wake his big ass up. Oh, there you go, Kimberly. My next one, Randy, will be called Am I Froze? <laughs> Showcase two. You need to share your knitting with us and booties you make. Yes, I do. Some dumb bitch employee from Family Dollar stole my phone. We tracked her and she stole my PayPal money and used my card. <sighs> I never used and spent over five grand in three days. Oh my gosh. Wow. Jennifer, you're so welcome. I just, um, I, yeah, that would make me want to kill a bitch. Yes. Don't fuck with my money. Jenny, you could come up there and showcase your quilts. They're oh, gonna, oh, I mean, yeah. I love, oh, I, I wish I could do the homemade, you know, the old timey. My nanny would talk about how they, what is what is that thing called? You know, they would raise it up, the quilting thing. The uh, my husband's grandmother had one in the spare bedroom. It was at, at, by the ceiling, and she'd let it down to mm -hmm. make her quilt sign. I've got one of her quilts, actually. You don't know how to send pics. Jenny, are you on Twitter? Do you have a cell phone? Just take a picture and text it. A unicorn quilt. That'd be pretty. Absolutely, Pam. Right, Pam. Okay. Well, just take a picture and send it on there. So, oh, wow. See, and I think about that because I always have my debit card on the back of my phone. And, you know, it's probably not smart. Mm. I got the hiccups all of a sudden. You're growing. Yeah, I'm growing all right. <laughs> Did you make any New Year's resolutions? I don't do New Year's resolutions. I, I don't either, but I'm I... Right in hell, yes. Whoa. Hell yes. I've actually been to Vegas one time years and years ago when I was young, young. Um, no, I did do, uh, I did cook a pork loin in the crock pot and I did black eyed peas and cabbage. I did cook that yesterday, but yeah, we did. I, I don't do New Year's resolutions. It, it, I don't ever stick to them. You know, I used to years ago, but do you I, do them? No, not really, but I am going to lose weight. I am. I already started. Um, and first, I walked into work this morning, and, and Michael said, I'm hungry. And I said, leave me alone, Michael, because that may, when he says I'm hungry, that means one of us is going to go get a pork chop gravy biscuit for the other one. <laughs> pork chop gravy biscuit from where? Hardee's. Oh, we have a Hardee's, but I don't ever. Yeah, uh, we ate lunch there one time months ago uh when we still had the shop but i have not I've, i don't guess i've ever um i don't guess i've ever had their breakfast that's weird that is weird because hardy shouldn't even stay open for lunch they should just close at breakfast they had beer battered uh onion rings and they were really good and then we had a burger um hit her up on twitter find um uni on twitter um uh, Jenny, please. I'm back on a keto diet. I know I wouldn't stick to it. I know that if I plan something like that, I won't stick to it. This, the sad that I can't take any kind of oh, even over the counter diet pills because of my heart. And I want to. Yeah, I can. I had pneumonia, you know, years ago was in ICU, and ever and my heart rate was real high. And ever since then, 
I can do caffeine fine, but I can't do like energy drinks. I can't do like, and like coffee. I can't drink a lot of coffee, but I definitely can't take, um, I tried over the counter diet pills one time and, and my heart rate don't go up. Anymore. So I'm afraid to try it. Timber today, she said, do you want one of these? <laughs> I forgot what Timber got. But um, I said, no, nah, I'm afraid because I had I drank two cups of coffee before work and I was afraid to uh, to take it because I don't want to, I don't know, have a stroke. I will send Randy my phone number. She can give it to you. There you go. I um, My girl set up a instagram for me gosh i don't know how many years ago i don't even have it on my phone don't even know i don't even know if there's a picture on there on there i don't even know i have never been on there i, I never figured out how to work it i i hardly ever upload to instagram is it just pictures is that what instagram is yeah but now they have like instagram live they have stories they have uh, i mean instagram does everything now um, um, I used to, um, yeah, you know, I'm crazy and I follow the, like the RIP places and I will go look and say who got killed and how they died and all that stuff and go stalk their Instagram. But I haven't done that in a long time. Okay, Jeannie. I don't have a story. I, look, I don't know how to do the stories. One time I was wishing my nephew a happy birthday on Facebook and somehow put it on my story. So he didn't even see my happy birthday. Why do, <laughs> I don't even know. Hank, I just figured out how to work Snapchat and I don't get on it enough. I like going on there and looking at the stories. And um, I've tried to look for, you know, people from YouTube to say their stories. Like I watch Jeffrey Star. There's several people. Uh, like that that I watch and um, but it'll sometimes it'll be I'll get on there for like three days in a row then I may not get on it again for three months it's I'm weird like that see I erase snapchat because how I I love the the videos people make when they do all the little snap like stellar okay blue thank you she does all the basic uh, you know right. all the thing i i don't know how to do that and timber yells at me why do you not understand i'm like i just don't get it how do you keep going it cuts off i don't i don't get it hey, you, gotta, you gotta hold the button down i think y'all there's mr b hey how are you y'all everybody that's little rosie's husband how are you doing Oh no, hey, Troll Rogerio is stuck with that name. It won't let you switch it back. Did you change it? Yes, he's Troll Rogerio. I thought it was a different account. <laughs> it's stuck with that name. <laughs> Oh, I know your heart's hurting. You hang in there. It let me, I've had it like um, two meltdowns and changed my name. B changed yours twice too, haven't you? I think so. Yes, everybody keep Mr. B in their prayers, please. Mm -mm. Lots of love and light. That's right. Silence is golden. Tiffany H. <laughs> oh. Do you eat supper yet? I haven't ate supper. Would do it? Would you? Fixing my vape now, but uh, no, I haven't. I um I'd fixed some French fries earlier in my air fryer. 
And that, but that was like one o'clock, I guess. That's what I'm going to do. It's so easy. I'm telling you, I love that thing. How long do you cook your French fries for? Um, well, I did steak fries and I did them for 14 minutes. Um, 400. Okay. Okay. I think it's a trial and error. Thing. Yeah. It, yeah. I, I just had to kind of figure out, you know, how long for each thing it's. And like uh, chicken strips. Um, I think I did them for about the same amount of time, but. Or maybe it was a higher temperature and they fed, they were like really crunchy on the edges. So I'm going to have to figure out. How right. to uh, how to figure out how, you know, how much to cook each one of them. I'm telling you, steak in the air fryer, it ain't, it, uh, it's so good. I was telling B Dev about that today that uh, you tell me about the, um, dang it. The steak, it uh, is good. About the steak. Juicy. Good night, Pam. We are absolutely two peas in a pod. I went back to work today. It was kind of, oh, I'm sorry. I can't imagine. I can't. I'm so sorry. Yes. Please keep us updated on anything you need to know. You would love to have an air fryer. Well, wait. Katie got, got me one for Christmas. <coughs> Wrong um, And it's one of the it's really neat. And I got, um, I don't know if I want to tell or not, but I did get um, an Instapot for Christmas from a very sweet person. And I haven't got to use it yet. I was going to use it for my black eyed peas and stuff. And my uncle showed up with big containers of black eyed peas and potatoes and all that stuff, uh, greens. So I didn't have to fix anything. I've wondered how long it takes for like, um, for like peas and stuff like that. And the Instapot? I'm a did chili in it today. And I think she said it was 15 minutes. It was done. Really? Uh-huh. Well, I'll have to call Ama and get, and get instructions on. Um, y'all want me to tell y'all the story? And if the person that got me the Instapot. Oh, Morty, uh, look, it's Alex. Hey, sweet baby boy. Who? Mordecai's son, Alex. That precious baby. They used to send us videos. Where? Up there, up there at the, in the chat. It said, hi, Miss Randy. Hi, Miss B. It's me, Alex. Hi, I love Alex. you. We love you. I do you, Helen. Okay, I'm going to stop. Sorry. What are you eating? Don't judge me. <laughs> Those are chicken and biscuit crackers. I'm addicted to them. What is it? Chicken and a biscuit crackers. Oh, I love them. I, me too. And they're sitting right here beside the couch and the chicken for my fat ass just to grab. I will. I will look up recipes. Here is what happened with the Instapot because I called B and I was near tears. My kids sabotaged me. Jim went to go Christmas shopping for me. And all I've asked for, y'all know, is an Instapot. That's that's what I asked for. And uh, so they go Christmas shopping because he waits till the last minute like he does every year. My girls told him that people get killed with Instapots and that it was dangerous <laughs> for me to... <laughs> That makes me laugh. When she texted me and told me that, I died. <laughs> uh, he come in with a robe. I got a robe instead of an Instapot because my girls thought it would be, I, th I really think they thought it would be funny if if they ruined a Christmas. Because I was like, y'all are joking, right? <laughs> I, there's an Instapot. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're all going. We're, <laughs> we're all going to be poisoned from something. Hell, might as well go down hung, uh, uh, happy and well fed. Well, damn it. Yes. So Keemstar tweeted out, "What did you want for Christmas and you didn't get?" And I put sex <laughs> in the pod. <laughs> When Randy told me that, I said, you are so extra. <laughs> I am. Kingstar, buy me an Instapot. But he didn't. Gonna, gonna he did. respond to Kingstar's tweet. <laughs> <laughs> no shame here. He, he bought a lot of people. If y'all look at his, he bought a lot of people stuff. But he, you know, get some games and stuff. I, I guess when he saw some old lady say Instapot, he's like, who is this old lady? Why is she following me? Bless, sir. M Morty said she asked for an Instapot. <laughs> she got a crop pot. Oh, Helen, thank you. No, somebody got me one. Somebody off here. I don't know if they want me to tell or not. Uh, Babodi, I'm going to tell. Babodi got me an Instapot. And it is so nice. I... I think Babodi is hashtag Instapot. Hashtag, 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 hashtag silence is golden. Oh, you're so sweet. Rogerio, it's like um it's like a crock pot uh pressure cooker thing. You cook beans in like you can cook a pot of white beans. I I know in two two hours is what my daughter in law said. Uh, Somebody up here, was it Curry? What was her name? Said she did it for uh, pinto beans in an hour. Zura K said she cooked pinto beans about one hour. I guess you could put it in there and then just um, yeah. taste test them, I reckon, see, yeah. until you get it down. Yeah. No, my account's not private. Um, so, but he ain't caring about me getting on Instapot, but he got a lot of kids' games. Some little boy, some young boy had just opened a Twitter and went underneath Keemstar's tweet and said, I want your life or I love your life. And Keemstar retweeted it and said, I, I y'all, I teared up. He said, um, yes, my heart goes out to Rose's family too. I, I, I love her. Um, he said, uh, I work Donna, hard. She sorry, she did not get six hundred dollars in super chats tonight. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Randy. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. What is she doing that I'm not doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, she. Um, anyway, so he retweeted. He said, "I work hard," and Kim Star does. He said, "This is the first day I've taken off." since october he said but i'm gonna buy you some game system that was like four hundred dollars oh yeah and i was like <gasps> keemstar is awesome i thought he was a jerk frozen chicken breast 14 minutes wow i can't wait to use it keemstar is is really and so for the the young kids that was tweeting <laughs> not the old ladies the young kids that was tweeting him, he was sending them like gift cards to buy games and stuff like that. Hashtag Randy go lightly. <laughs> hey, Zura said that that ninja pot may be a ninja pot. Well, is it? I guess it's just different uh, brand names, maybe. Probably. probably. But, but, but Bobby got me a really nice one. I was just tickled to death. And so now I have, I'm fancy now. I honestly, I feel fancy. I mean, my kitchen floor, it needs to be completely redone, but it don't matter because I got an Instapot and an air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> and you're extra as hell. That's I a very on the top, damn it. Hey, he asked a question. I gave an honest answer. What did you ask for? <laughs> my husband got me a freaking robe <laughs> that my daughter took. <laughs> <laughs> because my kids <laughs> set me up for the sabatuji. I did get those cool um B Dub did get me those earbuds that go with my what well, goes with all my Apple products, my phone, my computer, my iPad. 
I love them. And I, I never do. thought that I would love them so much. Hey, Katie. Katie's mom did go to school with Sylvia. I didn't know. I thought somebody was like, I didn't know if they were being serious. Did she talk about her, Katie? Good night, Mr. B. Good night. I feel funny calling you that. Good night, Johnny. Swear to God, I know this story like the back of my hand. Do you want to? Why do you like so like to come in? Now I'm tired. So I really. I don't even. Come on, Kate. You want to hear? You want to come on panel? I don't know how to send her a link. Do you? Oh shit! It has sent the email. <laughs> Wait, I, I probably got her Twitter. I mean, uh, I don't have Twitter. Email. I mean, email. Bitch kicked I, off. Let's see. Let me let me try. Katie, I used my air fryer today, and I love it. Thank you. I can't come on, assholes. But next stream, y'all have. I'll find the newspaper from back. <gasps> you have the newspaper from back then. Oh, I bet that is good. We might have to talk about this again then because I'm so into this. I'm reading my third book. Hi, metallic, gorgeous, beautiful thing. Um, You're not the prettiest thing. Jesse's girl. And JFK. I, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I, okay, so was it did, didn't it happen in the fifties, Katie? Did you watch the movie? I have so many questions for you now. It's like an interview. <laughs> feel better, Blue. Good night. I hope you feel better, Blue. Metallic, I think you are probably um a lot like my oldest daughter, you don't see how beautiful you are. I mean, because you really are stunning. My oldest daughter is beautiful and she yeah. doesn't see what everybody else sees. You know what I'm saying? Very humble. You got to go. Okay. Well, absolutely. Make a plan to be on a panel talking about this. Happy New Year, Katie. I just know what my mom told me. Well, she went to school there. I think that is so cool. I didn't go to school with anybody fun. Except for John Grisham's sister. And that's not fun. There's no story there to tell. Well. Bye, honey. I don't think I went to school with anybody cool either. Let me think. Hmm. -mm. Surely to goodness in your country ass town there was somebody there that came, became famous. That became famous? Um well yeah, you know they I, all come from some small town, it seems like. Johnny Majors is from here. The coach that used to coach UT. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Hey, what a school here. Morty. Oh, Morty. 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 Jessica fell in the well. Really? Oh, y'all remember that? How old is she now? Morty, you are beautiful. And you yes. should be better know it, damn it. David Brennan, my which murderer, David? I'm trying to think if anybody turned out to be a murderer that I went to school with. There's some that we kind of thought. Well, hell, that girl that um, really? I was pregnant with that came and lived here for a few months, she tried to kill her kids and yeah. tried to kill herself. Oh, yeah. house. Remember her? Mm -hmm. She's got to be 40. Wow. I remember that so well, baby Jessica. Well, she, well, Sherry went to school with a cop and knew Michael Jackson. <laughs> baby Jessica is 33. Is that a golly? So I was 10 when that happened. She was 18 months old. Wow. Oh, we know that, Morty. You're beautiful. I took a picture of Mordica 
in, in the hair salon with me. And I said, I know you don't have a magic wand. I'm just trying to get this haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Her and Stephanie Green have the best haircuts. Yeah. Your hair looks good right now. Though. I love the cut. Thank you. It's, I don't know what I'm doing. Trying to recover from the shade. My daughter was born the day she was rescued. Does anyone remember Michael Bergen from Baywatch? Mm -mm. Let me Google him. I know. Hey, uh, David Brennan said his name is Gordon Malloy. Keep in mind, I live in Ireland. He raped and stabbed his girlfriend over 30 times, I think, and raped her after she was dead. Her four year old was in the next room, sadly. Wow. Oh. I don't remember Michael Bargain from Baywatch, I don't think. I'm pulling him up, but I never watched Baywatch. Ooh. No, but I would like to remember him. <laughs> Thank you. Went to play in the WNBA. She retired and is now one's basketball coach. That's awesome. He's from Natawak. Natatuck. How do you say that? That's where I'm from. Oh my goodness. Oh, of course, his wife is perfect. He's a pretty fella. That's all I can say. Woo. The only thing I've come close to A-listers is I was a tour guide at Graceland. <laughs> Why does that crack me up so much? <laughs> I don't because you're ignorant. And I met some people, you know, some movie stars that came through there. They would get a private, you know, tour. That's it. That's it. Mm. And that was it. when did I work there? Eighty seven and eighty eight. That's been that, that long ago. I'm a I'm a huge Woody Harrelson fan, and his dad's in prison for murder, and I didn't know that. No good, Tuck. Thank you. <laughs> Morty knows. Woody Harrelson's dad's in prison for murder? That's crazy. I never knew that. I didn't either. I oh, love it. John Grisham Jr., the writer, uh, grew up beside my husband. His in laws still live two doors down from my mother in law, but we never see yeah. him. We just. We still get his books, but that's that's the extent of our communication. Gerard Butler. Wait, wait. You get the books for free? Yeah. We still get them. I've got that original Time to Kill, the one that he only sold like less than 100 books. It's autographed. It's a, uh, like he wrote a little thing in there to my husband and everything. To the Boy Next Door is what it's titled. Really? Mm -hmm. I used to watch his kids when they were little, and they're in their thirties now. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I, we, we I knew you said you got, but I just thought you bought them because. Um, no, 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 no. We've got them all from. Um, still sends them to Billy's mom's house. Sure enough, Woody Harrelson's dad, Charles Boyd Harrelson, was. Was did he die? Was a crime figure who was convinced, convinced. I I can't read. Was convicted of assassinating federal federal judge John H. Wood Jr., the first federal judge to have been killed in the 20th century. He was a strange. He was the estranged father of actor Woody Harrelson. So apparently he died. Wow. Well. I think Matthew McConaughey's the best looking thing ever. Oh, he died in Yeah, we are absolutely A-listers. <laughs> There's a wrestler girl from here now, Velvet Skies. <laughs> hey, David, we watched the movie. I don't know if Randy watched the movie, The Girl Next Door. I watched. Yeah, and and uh, I read the book. Yeah, she read the book too. I read, I watched uh, An American Crime about Sylvia. The but Girl I'm Next Door. The girl next door is not anything like what happened because the boy next door 
was cruel to her. He didn't try to help her. Uh, Kimberly, he did. He actually lives in um, one of the Carolinas, I think. Now he moved away when the kids graduated college. They moved away. He and Renee, his wife, moved away. Honestly, I don't know where they live anymore. The people what? that live in his old house have lived there since he sold it, and then but his, Renee's parents still live on the corner. I love Matthew McConaughey too. And he, one time he, I, I got it on Facebook. He had tweeted, I mean, uh, put out a picture on Facebook and he had an armadillo on his leg and he said, everybody needs a dillo. Well, I, <laughs> I shared it and I said, everybody, I said, well, now I want a dillo. And everybody thought it said, now I want a something else. Dildo. <laughs> Jim coming up under his like, Why would you write this on Facebook? I said, it's a pillow. Rooster McConaughey named his kid Miller Lyle. <laughs> wow. He looks a lot like Matthew. Matthew killed a family from drunk driving so he can F himself. Really? Matthew McConaughey did? What? No. Google. Google. Y'all, I watched this. It came on. Uh, that is so hard to spell. There you go. Uh, this... Um, spotlight thing comes on cbs this morning i even recorded it because it was the my i bawled watching this story and it was a a firefighter emt paramedic firefighter that had just got off of a, tw a tough 24-hour shift and uh was driving home and fell asleep at the wheel and crossed the lane on the oncoming traffic and he killed a lady that was seven months pregnant well, at the end, the husband of the lady, they uh, also had a, like a two-year-old at the time. And this firefighter, he was, the husband was a preacher and um, ended up befriending the man that killed his wife. And now they're like best friends. They're the preacher husband has went on to remarry and has had additional kids. And, um, oh my gosh, that was the saddest thing ever. Okay. You're talking about Matthew. I think you're mixed up with Matthew Broderick, him and, um, Jennifer Gray was in a, a wreck. Yeah. Because that's what happened to Jennifer Gray's neck. Caitlyn Jenner kill somebody too. Just Bruce. But I'm bunch. <laughs> You're so weird, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I remember um, nothing about that that Caitlyn Jenner wreck though. I don't, I don't know. I remember when there was a girl on, a, I don't know, even though the TV show, I didn't watch it, but she was beautiful. Every time I would see her, I think how beautiful she was. She had that long curly hair and she hit and killed a child. She, I don't think she was drunk though. No, Julie, you're not blocked. Uh, Kim and Kanye are expecting again. I saw that another bully or something, isn't it? I saw that. Nine predictions. Let's see. What do they got so far? Um, They've got west, south, or north. <laughs> north. <laughs> north? Yeah, north. Northwest. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Northwest. Um, what's the other one's name? Why can I not think of it? Google is my friend. It will be 
It will be a different one. That's for sure. Hi, Jeff Dalian. David Southwest. David Southwest is the baby's Northwest. Hey, Rosebud. Ivy. I think it's a, if it's going to be a boy, I can't believe he hasn't done Conway, Conway, Conway Twitty, Kanye the second or something like that. North Saint and Chicago. That's their kids' names. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> good night. I'm glad you had a good time. Should name their next child Globe. Globe, <laughs> Globe West. <laughs> There's a girl that I went to school with that named her last son Bronx. And I love that name. It's a little boy. I like that. I like that name too. East and West. Oh, that's neat. East and West. And this is brother. Oh, West. Hey, lovely Steph. Rebecca Gayhart. That's right. When she that was her. She had a um she killed a child in a wreck. And it just I, I don't remember if she was drinking or not, but I remember. I don't think she was. They should. Key. They should name it Key. <laughs> <laughs> Key West. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Kim is North St. Chicago. Courtney is Mason, Penelope, and Rain. Chloe has True. Rob has Dream. And Kylie has Stormy. And Courtney is the only one with like mainstream names. I love the name Rain. I think that is the most beautiful name. I, True and Dream and Stormy. Okay. I like that. They are the Kardashians. They can. How do you pronounce that? Honoria? That's pretty, though. I know you're lovely, Steph. Good night, Uni. If Good I night. ever have another kid, never. I'm naming him Maddox. I'm obsessed with that name. I like that name. I, I like the name Maddox, too. Yeah. I like that too, David. I have a niece named Atlantis. Really? I like that too. Snow. Snow West. Snow is, um, what's her name's baby's name? Uh, Shannon Rose. They named their baby Snow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They can name it Do. Like, maybe, maybe they'll name it Rogerio. Yes. <laughs> I bet they will. I bet they will. <laughs> Hit them up. <laughs> I bet if you tweet them enough, they just might. <laughs> I had a friend who named their kids their triplets Olivia, Newton, and John. <laughs> Do you know that was the first concert I ever went to was Olivia Newton John? <laughs> no kidding. I can't remember how old it was. I was young, but that was my first concert I ever went to. Uh, my first concert was New Kids on the Block. Let's rock. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Debbie said she had a girlfriend named Crystal Lake and Rosewood. <laughs> moon Unit 1 and Moon Unit 2. <laughs> hey, speaking of, no, we weren't even speaking of what I was thinking about um, the movie Pitch Perfect 3. Did what did y'all watch at movie night? B movie night. Oh, at the mm -hmm. treatment house. Um, I can't remember now. Oh, I loved Color Me Bad. Oh, 
I can't remember now. I didn't watch it. Did did she sing Let's Get Physical at that concert? I'm sure. No, your body <laughs> your body I think I was like 10 or 11. I was so young. I've seen NSYNC and I've also seen Justin Timberlake. I'm jealous of that. I got my first stripe because of Bay and Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, I saw uh, Britney Spears. I took the girls uh, when they were little to see her. That is a Britney Spears puts on a concert. That's all I can say. She puts on a concert. Remember when? Um, I love Madonna, Nick about it. Huh? When Madonna kissed Britney and um, Christina Aguilera? Uh huh. Yeah. I <gasps> you saw Janis Joplin? Oh my gosh! I would. Oh. I, I, love good. I want a Volkswagen van so bad. <laughs> <laughs> George Strait, I, you know, the uh, first time I ever saw George Strait, you know who opened up for him was Garth Brooks. And that was before Garth Brooks was anything. And I thought, oh, wow, George good. don't even need to come on stage because nobody compares to entertainment like Garth Brooks does. But... Yeah, and after that, that's when Garth Brooks blew up. You know who opened for uh, New Kids on the Block was um, Criss Cross to make you jump, jump. The Mac Daddy <laughs> make you jump, jump. And um, then they blew up. And do you know that one of them killed herself? No. Yeah. Everybody started wagging, uh, wagging wearing their... Um, pants backwards and all this stuff you, when they blew up. Yeah, uh, the one Chris was his name. He killed himself. Damn. You got a tattoo of a Volkswagen van? Oh, that's so cool. I begged Jim. Somebody had um, Todd made fun of me a pink convertible 1971 Volkswagen for sale. And I begged Jim. Begged. And he, he he wouldn't get it for me. <laughs> so no Volkswagen. Nope. You know, I had that. I had a Cabriolet one time convertible. It was haunted. That's a long story, y'all. Party. Who's Buck Cherry? Who is that? I'm telling you, the kids that I work with are always talking about all these rap bands. And I'm like, who the hell are y'all talking about? I think now if you put Lil in front of your name, hey, misdemeanor, you, you're a rapper. All you got to be is like Lil Randy, you know, something like that. And you're a rapper. Lil Pete. <laughs> Lil, Lil, Lil. Lil, Lil, Lil. Lil. I tell you who I really, really, really like. Um Bear Bongs and Bentleys. What what is it? Who am I thinking of, y'all? Uh, he looks so gross, but he is so awesome. Uh I ain't never heard of that crazy bitch song. Now I'm gonna have to look it up. Lil Rogerio. <laughs> Lil Rogerio. <laughs> Lil Randy and DJ B. That's it. <laughs> There you go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Why can I not think of um Fabulous really? Thunderbirds? How cool is that? Mordica, I know you know I'm talking about um if I want Post Malone. Thank you. Post Malone. I love him. I don't even hardly. Hey, pretty hair. Still pretty hair. Still stuck with his stupid name. Well, your hair is pretty. Who is that? I, I don't see the picture. Hang on. Let me click over here. Oh, Steph. Bless her. David, it would be Janice. I love Amy Winehouse, but it would be Janice. Don't I love Amy Winehouse, too. Yeah. More guys are great beat sort of for a few hands for a while there. Don't ask. <laughs> no, I think there is a story to tell there. 
<laughs> I haven't heard of that name in a long time. I would definitely, I would love to just sit and ch talk with Janet. <laughs> Lil <laughs> Ricky got like Lee Kimberly is pulling them all out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That is so funny. Oh, I know she's hilarious. <laughs> well, it is eight twenty. Little Randy and DJ B is going to get off. <laughs> oh, DJ B. Nobody Coming can at beat you. singing. Nobody can beat Janice singing. I think that was when me and TPB. Barbie had her fallen out because she done a Janis Joplin song. And I said, don't you do that. Oh, look, Jenny just said, Randy, look up Karma Loves Truth YouTuber. He has a video of Go Lightly making fun of Shanann Watts and Thrive and her daughter, Cece. Oh, my I've gosh. Seen it. I've, seen, I, I've seen it. That's that's what I was going to make a, a video about. And um, Diane called it first. 90 days feels like forever. Well, your hair is pretty. You're beautiful, Stephanie. Absolutely. Yep, David, you called it. I had tickets to Jimi Hendrix, and I got put on restriction and couldn't go on. Oh. I can't wait to see. Um, I still haven't got to see. My brain's not working. The Freddie Mercury movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, it is so good. Oh, I bet. It is really good. All right, you ready, Puddin? I'm ready. Okay. DJ B. We will see y'all with some fun news. Sunday, we'll figure out what time, and uh, we're going to have a blast. We're going to do, do it up big in 2019. There you go. It'll be fun. Yes. Yes. Love y'all. Y'all have a good night. Thanks for joining y'all. Okay, Eric.